Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, hi, this is Mark from Guillotine Chemistry. Uh, we're going to try something new today. Uh, we often review with students uh, at lunch, yeah. and so we thought we would try to film a 360 uh, review for the upcoming test. Uh, this is unscripted, um, and so we're going to be working on what's called activity series, and then uh, we'll post it up. I'll put some words in here. Now, the resolution of this is not phenomenal. This is a lower grade 360 camera, but yeah. if this Come is well liked, on. I could see an upgrade in our future, so oh, if you oh. subscribe, if you, if you like. Um, and we're also going to eat lunch, so this would be light mukbang for you guys, uh, mukbang fans out there. This be, um, so we have an activity series. I will post this uh, in the doobly-doo around here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is give each of these people a medal, and then we're going to react each of these medals with a series of solutions. So each of them are going to have a medal, uh, but they're all going to be working with the same solutions so that we kind of see how activity series works. There are three main types of reactions. It's metal with some kind of metallic ion in like a solution. Uh, it's metal with water, which is harder to react with, and then metal with acid. So, uh, so uh, I'm gonna give each of them a metal somewhere on the activity series. And then what we're gonna do then is individually, let's work through the top two first. What's nitric acid? That's a good question. Three. Right? So we're gonna work through the top two solutions first, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll work through the bottom two. So uh, let's give you barium. So barium metal, solid. Zinc metal, solid. Zinc uh, tin metal, solid. And you get ag, <laughs> silver. Okay. Is, is you want to know a way to remember tin gold? a multiple charge cation? It is, but and that's a good point. No if, if doing multiple charges, like, assume it'll get the multiple charge. Silver. Um, a U. Okay. be like, A U. Don't steal my gold. So I'm gonna eat <laughs> some of my lunch. Do the first two and talk to each other if you need to. You're the yeet to my hop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this is basically what we did in the, the video experiment. Exactly, yes. So, so if you we're have, saying if there's going to be a... Oh! Right. Yeah. You can have... Um, uh, why don't you take and then lead? Dip it the first yeah. solution is oh, calcium nitrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Calcium is pretty high on the activity series, right? Correct. Okay. So not many things will be able to kick it out. Not many things will be able to kick it out. No. Again, imagine that, again, imagine that you are calcium and you're sitting in a seat right now, right? Imagine that somebody came in and tried to kick you out of your seat, right? And they were stronger than you. Then. Yeah, so if, 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 the, if the school resource officer came in and said, Lucy, get out of your seat, would you get out of your seat? I'm kind of afraid. Of yeah, exactly. Out. So you would be displaced even though you're happy sitting there, right? But if a kindergartner came up and said, get out of your seat, would you get out of your seat? Sorry. You're a nice person, you probably would. But that's the idea is that the more active metal will get the other kid out of the seat. So, calcium nitrate. All right, does anybody have a metal that's more active than calcium? Uh, you have, which metal do you have? Barium. Barium, right? Is that it? Yeah. So, lead is way down here, right? Yeah. So, remember that you have to make calcium flip. You have to make calcium accept electrons, which it doesn't want to do, right? Wait, are we going to have to, like, write that out? On, On the, the test, if you just say no reaction, that would be fine. Um, so... All of them are no reaction except for barium, right? So why don't you guys all do that problem? Do barium and calcium nitrate. She's already done it. Yeah. Right. Good. So again, so is lead? So you had lead, right? Yeah. Lead is lower than calcium. Okay. So will lead push calcium out of the compound? No. No. So you can just say no reaction. Right. So that's easy for that one. Okay. But with barium, then. So put now barium and calcium nitrates. That will be a reaction. So why don't you guys try to write the, you've already got it. Is this right? Can I do it right? It's we'll check with, check with your neighbor. Let's see what you have. He's my neighbor both at home and yeah. right now. No way. I know, right? Must be great. Okay, is that, did you get that? I didn't like look at the periodic table for like charges. And, well, like, barium is too, so. Wow, we did it. Wow, wow. So, well, we, we might not have it. I was just gonna miss my lips. You want a bunion? <laughs> um, so the idea is that again, you're going to make a barium ion. In this case, barium nitrate. Now, barium is an alkaline earth metal, so what's its charge? Um, two, two plus. Two plus, yeah. right? But uh, just assume they'll get this charge. Okay. Now, for those of you who are paying attention, if we actually were to make calcium metal, now, so calcium wouldn't have a charge, right? So remember that you're forcing calcium to accept the electrons and push back. But if you actually produce calcium metal in water, what do we know about calcium metal in water? 
Look at your activity series. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, how, what? It reacts with reacts water. Yeah, so in theory, oh. calcium, we'll get to that later. Mm. But, but the, I'm not sure this reaction would happen as predicted because if you create a calcium metal, it would start to react with the water itself. So we'll get to that. Okay, but that's it. So if, it, if, the, if the metal is more active, it stays in the compound, right? Or it will swap out with the, chem the chemical that's in the compound, all right? And push that other metal back out, right? Your second solution, I think all of you react with, right? Mm -hmm. The second well, solution is copper nitrate. I did not. I did not. Copper nitrate is way down. Oh. So you have, what would you, barium, right? I got silver. So I barium did. will react with copper nitrate because oh, it's definitely nitrate. way up. You had what? What did you have? You know? Mine will, and it's uh, zinc. You had zinc. So zinc is still higher than copper. So zinc will bump mm -hmm. copper out of the solution, right? Uh, what did you have? Tin. Tin. Tin, tin is higher, higher, so it'll kick copper out, right? And I had ag. You had silver. <laughs> will copper, um, well wait, will silver knock copper out? No. No. No, right? So <laughs> silver is lower than copper, wait. right? So if you put silver metal in copper nitrate, Silver is not active enough to kill What copper. am I looking at? I don't know. Um, but you actually will get a no reaction both ways. I think I was looking at, no. Lead? Is lead higher than copper? Um, what did I do? Oh, then copper, yeah. Yeah, so do another one then. So those of you who have a reaction that actually works, go ahead and predict the product. So, so almost everything will kick copper out of its solution, except for something less active than it, silver. Yeah. So everybody, wait, check your neighbor. Right? Can you check that, Jenny? So lead yeah. and copper nitrate. I see where we're going. There's a no lead reaction. Lead nitrate plus... I don't know why I'm not adding right. yeah. above. And that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Good. That's exactly right. Yeah. Now this would be solid and solid and aqueous. Right? Oh, yeah. Let's that's assume true. that our nitrates funny. are going to be aqueous. Bro! Bro! <laughs> Did you, you get... Do you know how to use the water? Exactly right. Aqueous. Aqueous. Solid. Uh, uh, solid. Uh, uh, solid. Uh, so will the charges not be good? You will not see any... In this kind of reaction, you won't see any charges because the charges are hidden in the compound. How right. do you know what the states of matter are? Let's assume that uh, they're going to be... Let's assume yeah. that the metals yeah. will be solid <laughs> and that the ionic oh, compounds will be soluble. soluble. I'm not giving a solubility chart. So they're probably obviously soluble. Okay. So are you guys all okay with metal versus metallic iron? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's those kind of problems. It's just a matter of if you're higher, you'll get the other one to switch directions. They don't want to do that. All right. Now the last two is is metal with water or metal uh, with acid. Are you okay with the top ones? Um, I yeah. need the salt okay. yeah. So again, yeah. <laughs> so again, just to make sure, if, if the more active metal gets to go into solution, it will. And it will flip the other one. So again, so lead flipped copper. Right? Okay. A lead would flip silver. Lead would flip anybody under it. Okay, but silver can't flip people above it. So with acid and water, remember that um, acids do what in water? What's that magic they, D word? They dissolve. Dissociate. dissociate. They dissolve and dissociate. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you guys are excited about the acid base test. Right? So oh. when an acid dissociates, you have H plus ions floating around. Right? Yeah. Okay, so if you have an H plus ion floating around, uh, that's a much better electron acceptor than if you have water. Right? If you have water, remember that that hydrogen is locked up in the, in the, in the bond. Right? So you can't easily get to that hydrogen. Okay? So if you look at the activity series, uh, which will metals react more with? Or which will more metals react with? Water or acid? Uh, acid. Uh, acid, right? If you look at the chart, it's way more. Yeah. That's weird. Well, no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> it's not that weird. Because remember, imagine, imagine them, them coming around with a plate and saying, who wants to give up an electron? Right? It's like, let's say you wanted to throw something away. I mean, Will wants to throw away his bag of Funyuns. Yeah. Right? But he's not that interested in walking over the garbage can, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But if I held out a garbage can and said, well, would you like to throw away your bag of onions? What do you do? You can do it. Yeah, because it's easy to do, right? Yeah. So it's easy to get rid of stuff also, if it's I... it's like lazy. It's lazy, right? Okay, okay. So think of, think of lazy as like H+. <laughs> they would love to get rid of their electrons, but they're not going to work that hard for it. Okay. But if you come over with an H+, saying, I'll take your electron, in it goes, right? But let's say we'll have like a dirty diaper there. <laughs> Right? Would yeah. well walk over to the garbage can for a dirty diaper? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, you know, there are people that are definitely more active that'll work harder. 
All right, so if, if, if you have an acid involved, it's easy to get rid of electrons, right? If you have water involved, you have to rip up the water molecule. We did this in class, right? Um, I, I don't really pay attention. Which, ready, three is going to be water. Three is going to hold out our arms. Ready? I don't think we did this. I didn't do this? No, so she's didn't. hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, right? Oh, if, if I want to get rid of an electron, right, she doesn't want it. Do you want an electron? Too bad. And then I, so <laughs> as a metal, I grab her arm and I rip it off. Right? And I have that H, H plus ion now. I have that hydrogen, which I can then stuff electrons in. All right? So now only hold up one arm. Right? So she's OH now. So in water, I can rip water apart and leave hydroxide behind. Right? In acid, the H pluses are there to be accepted. So with your acid problem, right? If you are, and most metals will react with acid. In both of these, what gas do we always make? Uh, uh, Hydrogenic. What gas? Hydroxide. Oh, um, hydroxide. In hydroxide. What gas did it? Hydroxide. What gas? That's what you say. That's OH. Oh, no. What comes yeah. bubbling out of the solution if I put an act? Uh, hydrogen. 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 Hydrogen
I just yeah. thought of so, so good. So, uh, so you have lead plus nitric acid. Wait, so PV plus HNO3. Let's say gold pipes. Write a prediction. It's definitely going to be like, we found you. We're coming to you. We're going to have pipes. your tax return. Right. And so what I gas would always make? Chicago. Um, Damn. Always, Mark, you always H2 gas. And then make Wait. your lead to nitric. All right. So listen, your metal's in acids. Yours was? Um, barium. It, it definitely will react with acid. Yeah. Yeah. Yours was? It will. it will react. Well, yours was? Um, chin. Yes. Yes. Yours was silver. silver no. Now. Yours was lead. Yeah. Barely. Right? Yeah. Barely. But it does. Yes. Yeah. Right. So water then, remember, if I have to work harder to get my hydrogen, less metals can interact with water. Right? Again, they will make hydrogen gas <laughs> Sorry, and hydroxide. Right. That's okay. That's, that's what you do. Um, <laughs> so, let's, so let's run through this. Again, you're going to make a, a hydrogen gas, and let's assume hydroxide, <laughs> some kind of hydroxide. So yours was? Um, for the is this water trash? or? I for know. water, yeah. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, I oh, do that. Okay, everybody do that. I'll eat some more of my beef, too. Right. I don't know how to do this. Do um, your water. Wait, am I Mine just making like, I mean, like, wait, what are I using? Am I just making like silver oxide? Well, is silver going to react with water? <laughs> no, it's not. What? It didn't react but with acid. But it's metal, wet, silver, yeah. and water. But it, like, if I was to do that equation, what if you- I would say no reaction. Mine does. It's just going to get wet. Mine so no, it. there's no chemical yeah. reaction that takes place. Okay. So you are oh, just our example. Yeah, no, you're doesn't. you're here to be an example to others. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's check. Let's check. So that was it. That was our first uh, in the round lunch review. Um, that was pretty successful. So if you like the innovation, if you'd like to see us try to do more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel and see what's coming next. Maybe we'll even upgrade to the uh, newer model of the 360 channel. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And then hydrogen hydroxide. Whoa. Water? Yeah, water. <laughs> I was like, water? <laughs>